Hi, thank you so much for coming tonight. My name is Tracy Thompson. I'm with Thompson Real Estate Team, and I'm going to talk to you tonight about veterans and their families who are buying and selling homes in our community. Again, my name is Tracy Thompson. I'm going to give you a little bit about my background so you'll have a sense of where I'm coming from. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran. So I understand the process of buying a home using those veterans benefits. I went to the University of South Florida and got my bachelor's degree in philosophy and women's studies. And then I went to Yale Law School and got my JD. Um, I worked for many years as an executive director of a few different nonprofits and the Judicial College in Louisiana. And then in 2021, I went to work for Thompson Real Estate Team, which is my son's brokerage. So this is a family affair now. And I'm very excited to be working for my son. I'm the mom of three adult sons. I'm a grandma to two, and I'm a dog mom to Happy and Lucky who are here beside me. So if you hear any barking, that's what's going on. We're doing these webinars to fulfill our mission, which is to empower our community with the knowledge and expertise to make informed and intelligent real estate decisions. So I'm hoping that this is gonna help you in, that meet, in us meeting our mission and explaining this to you. The learning objectives for the program. Sorry. The learning objectives for today's program. After the program, you will be able to find the eligibility requirements for a VA home loan when you need them. You'll know how to acquire a certificate of eligibility by the end of the day today. You'll be able to articulate the pros and cons of a VA home loan when making the home buying decision. You'll know a great local resource for VA buyer, borrowers in the capital region, and you'll earn a $100 discount on your home inspection if you're a veteran. Just to give a little background on the veteran the population in our country today, we have 18 million veterans. That includes active duty and those who have already uh, garnered out of the service. So we've got 18 million people in all of the six forces, and there are currently 12 million spouses a million of whom are active duty uh, spouses and 11 of whom are spouses of veterans. So we've got 30 million uh, folks who potentially could take advantage of the veteran um, home buying benefit. If you're in the service or if you're a spouse of a service person, you know that the, you, the change of duty station is a common thing throughout your career. People in the military typically move every two to three years. A person who does an entire uh, uh, retirement from the military will do up to 10 moves in that entire career in the military. 70% of the people who move uh, to a new duty station go into private sector housing. Most military bases do have some uh, on-base housing, but they don't have enough to accommodate everyone who serves at that base. So 70% of those veterans who are or those active duty people are in private sector housing. And of that 70%, 43% of those are homeowners. So for that 43% VA homeowner benefits are a real uh, boon. So I wanna take some time and we're gonna learn about the VA home loan benefit together. And when I ask these quiz questions, I just ask you to put your uh, type your answers right into the chat box as we uh, walk through these quiz questions together. So number one, this is a true or false question. Every person who has served on active duty in any armed service is eligible for a VA home loan. What do you think, true or false? Just type your answers into the chat. Well, that's false. You must have, if you're an active duty service person, you must have had 90 days of consecutive service. So that means that if you've come in and you've only been in there for a month, you can't take advantage of this until you've got that 90 days of active service. Are, were you dishonorably discharged and you're a veteran? No, you don't get to take advantage of this benefit. Um, if you're a veteran, you have to make sure before you can take advantage of this that you have the right uh, continuous service days, and that depends upon your dates of service. So depending on when you served, you have to look that up and figure out how many consecutive uh, uh, active duty days you need to have in order to take advantage of this benefit. So I'm going to show you how to do that. 
This is the home page of the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. This is where you want to come to find out about your eligibility for all VA benefits, but especially for your um, home loan benefit. So you scroll down here under Benefits and Healthcare to Housing Assistance. Click on About VA Home Loan Types here. Then over on the left menu, you're going to see Eligibility. Click on that Eligibility link. And then you want to take a look. You'll see in this section that minimum active duty service requirements change for veterans. So depending on when you served, you may have a different set of uh, uh, service requirements. So find the dates down in this list. Find the dates of your service. There are separate ones for National Guard. And then click on the dates of service. And then it's going to tell you, so for example, if you served between November 1st, 1955 and May 7th, 1975 in the Republic of Vietnam, you have to have at least 90 days total or less than 90 days if you were discharged for a service-connected disability. So you want to take a look at this for your specific time of service and make sure that you qualify. Okay, quiz question number two, true or false? Every spouse of any person who is eligible for a VA home loan is also eligible for the VA home loan benefit. True or false? Just type it in the chat. What do you think? Well, that's false. You may be eligible. You may be able to get a certificate of eligibility if you're the surviving spouse of a veteran or the spouse of a veteran who's missing in action or being held as a prisoner of war. And like all things in the military, it's very complicated to figure out whether you're eligible or not. So this, you'll be able to find this, this slide, you'll be able to find on the VA page, but you may be eligible if you're a surviving spouse, if one of the following is true, either the veteran is missing in action or the veteran is a prisoner of war or the veteran died while in service, or from a service-connected disability, and you didn't remarry, or the veteran died while you were in service, the veteran died while in service, or from a service-connected disability, and you didn't remarry before you were 57 years old, or before December 16th, 2003. So as, was, so as with all things in the military, they make this exceedingly complicated. But if you go to this page, you'll be able to figure out whether you're eligible for that. Okay, quiz question number three. The first step in acquiring a VA home loan is saving for a down payment, finding the home you wanna purchase, acquiring your certificate of eligibility, getting a home loan pre-approval from your lender, A, B, C, or D, which one? It's C, acquiring your certificate of eligibility. It's the first thing you need to do if you're thinking of buying a home. And I'm gonna walk you through how to go about getting that certificate now. Get your certificate of eligibility right online. It's very quick and easy and pretty much painless. Again, this is the VA, the Veterans Affairs, Department of Veterans Affairs site at www.va.gov. Click at the top uh, menu, click on VA Benefits and Healthcare, Housing Assistance, and then right here you see request a COE online. It's that easy. Click that link. You'll come to this page and you'll see I've already requested mine. I get this notice, congratulations on your automatic COE. I've already completed mine. So all you have to do is come to this page. You'll go through a, a, a process of downloading a form and filling it out. And then you will be issued online your certificate of eligibility. And that looks like this. This is my certificate. You can see I requested this yesterday or on July 25th, 2024. And um, this shows that I'm uh, entitled. I've got my certificate of eligibility for loan guarantee benefits. And I'll talk about exactly what that means in a moment. So once you get this, you're going to want to download it and save it and provide it to your lender. It's that easy. You can have it by the end of the day today. So that's the most important thing. So quiz question for a VA loan is, A, a mortgage loan provided by the VA, a mortgage loan backed by the VA, or 100% guaranteed by the VA? Which do you think? 
Well, the correct answer is both A and B are correct. A mortgage loan provided by the VA is eligible, but only to a very small group of veterans. And those are Native Americans. If you're a Native American veteran or the sp a Native American spouse of a veteran, you may be able to get your uh, VA mortgage loan directly from the VA. They have a special program for that. All other veterans and most veterans and spouses are going to get what is a mortgage loan that is backed by the VA. So the VA is is backing you up. That's why you're able to. Well, I don't want to spill that surprise. But so, yeah, it's a it's a mortgage loan backed by the VA. It is not 100 percent guaranteed by the VA. The VA guarantees a portion of the loan, not the entire amount. But it is the reason why uh, you're able to get those loans. Okay, quiz question five. A VA borrower must put at least 10% down, must put at least 3% down, or can get a mortgage with zero down payment. It's C, you can get a mortgage with zero down payment. That's one of the really uh, uh, attractive things about a VA loan is that you'll still have closing costs. You'll still have to bring some money to the table, but you can deal with some of that in concessions, which is another class, but you don't have to put a down payment, which is significant for many buyers, especially military buyers. Question six, which of the following are true? It takes longer to close on a VA mortgage than other loan types. VA home inspections are more rigorous than regular inspections. Appraisals for VA loans are stricter. VA mortgages have better interest rates. Some sellers may prefer buyers with other mortgage types to a VA buyer. The VA works hard to get qualified veterans approved for financing. Which ones are true? Well, it's D, E, and F. Those three are true. I'm going to walk through these because there are some misconceptions about some of these ideas. So A, it takes longer to close on a VA mortgage than other loan types. That is not true. It can take longer just because of other, it's not because it's a VA mortgage, but it may take longer because of other things. But it's not a, 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 it's not a mortgage that takes longer than a conventional mortgage or an FHA mortgage. VA home inspections are more rigorous than regular inspections. That's not true. Uh, VA uh, inspections are as rigorous as FHA um, or conventional. Appraisals for VA loans are stricter. Again, that's a misconception, not true. Appraisals are the same for any loan type. VA mortgages have better interest rates. That is true. That's why that's one of the benefits of taking advantage of that ben, of that VA uh, uh, home loan benefit because your interest rate can be half a percent uh, less than conventional. And it, while that may not sound like a lot, it actually is a lot when it comes to home mortgages. A half percent is significant in your monthly payment. E, some sellers may prefer buyers with other mortgage types like conventional or FHA to a VA buyer. Unfortunately, this is true. And the reason this is true is because it usually has to do with a lack of education on the part of either the seller or the seller's agent. So um, in a we're in a buyer's, I mean, sorry, we're in a seller's market right now. So the sellers sort of, you know, they, they're having multiple offers come in. They may look at a VA offer and they may look at a conventional offer. And if their agent is not savvy and, it, and doesn't understand VA loans, they may it, it think that the conventional loan is the preferred method, but, the, but uh, that's just an educational issue. Um, so F, the VA works hard to get qualified veterans approved for financing. This is absolutely 100% true. They want you to use this benefit. They will work very closely with your lender to get you into that home. If there are issues with the inspections, if there are issues with the appraisals, they're going to go the extra mile to help you get into that home. The, the conventional and FHA buyers, they don't have the same type of relationship that you do as a veteran or a veteran uh, uh, dependent to... Uh, they really want to see that benefit work for you. So they go that extra mile. So local VA mortgage experts, we have relationships with a few, but one in particular stands out. Clear Path Mortgage Solutions, they are the VA experts in this area. Um, my contact there is Ray Farinella. His number and email are here for you to use and reach out to him. And if you do reach out to Ray, tell him that you were referred by us 
they're the best in the area when it comes to VA mortgages, and they will they will walk with you every step of the way. And as promised, you get $100 off for veterans home inspections if you reach out to Joe Fossilino at Top Gun Inspection Services Group. I assume he was in the Air Force, but who knows? Um, here's his phone number and here's his uh, email address. And again, if you reach out to Joe, he he just tell him that we sent you to him. And all you have to do is let him know that you're a veteran and he will give you that $100 discount on your inspections. So thank you so much for your time and attention this evening. And if you have any questions, please feel free, reach out to me. Here's my contact information, Tracy L. Thompson, Tracy at tret.pro. You can reach me at 203-500-1493. Good luck in your home buying path. And I hope you'll give me a call if I can be of any help. Thanks a lot. Good night.